Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in Rainbow Six Siege. I hope this video helps you out so make sure to stick around till the end, do leave your specs down in the comments below and with all that said, let's get started. Alright, step number one is the essential Windows settings and for that you have to open up settings on your PC and once you're here, go all the way down to gaming, open up game bar and turn this thing off. Game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and it makes your PC slow. Disabling it will help you to gain extra FPS in the games. Then go back to gaming, go all the way down to game mode and turn this thing on. Game mode disables unwanted and unnecessary applications running in the background, optimizing a PC for gaming. Right beneath that, you'll also find graphic settings, click on that and then click on change default graphic settings. Over here, enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games as both of them will help you to utilize your GPU to render the games as well as reduce the input latency. After that, go back to graphics and then click on the browse button right over here and then go to the install location of your game. Once you find your game, simply open it up and then add the rainbow6.exe in this list. Once added it, go to the options button and then click on high performance and use save. Once that is done, close your settings. This video's sponsor, Skycoach is just the one for you. Skycoach offers all kind of coaching, leveling up and improvement for your favorite games and you can get it for Rainbow Six Siege as well. Skycoach offers you coaching, leveling up, helps you rank up your game, unlock operators and so much more. Serving over 150,000 customers, Skycoach is completely safe and the reviews are awesome. Skycoach also offers coaching in almost 30 plus games. So if you guys want to use Skycoach, you can find a link to it in the description below and use my code BearFox to get 10% off. Now, let's move on. Next step is deanimating your windows. Windows by default has a ton of animations which are completely useless and it makes your PC slow. To disable them, simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. And once this window opens up, select adjust for best performance and then enable save task but thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, smooth edges of screen fonts as well as show window contents while dragging. This will help you to minimize the look of your windows as well as saving those unnecessary animations running. Next step is right under the run section that is virtual memory and here is how you can set up your virtual memory correctly. Click on the change button right over here and deselect automatically manage paging file size. Then click on the custom button and set the initial size to 1361. It is a little bit over 1GB and this is the most optimal value that I have found. After that, open up your system information on the PC and then look for the installed physical memory. That is 32GB for me. Once again, you have to open up calculator on your PC and then multiply 32 with 1024. This will give you your memory size in megabytes. Now simply divide this whole value by two and the value that you get right over here is what you have to paste in the maximum size. Click on the set button, click on the OK button and this is how you optimally set your virtual memory for playing games. Next step is a local group policy editor and this will only be available for Windows Pro users. So if you are a Windows Pro user, copy this. Search for local group policy editor and then open it up. Maximize the screen and extend the screen so you can have a better look. Click on the administrative templates, windows components and in here you'll find app privacy. Double click on let windows apps run in the background and this dialog box will open right in front of you. Simply click on enabled and then for default for all applications set this thing to force deny and this will enable this policy and disable the apps running in the background which will help you to gain extra FPS. Next step is disabling unwanted services and for that search for MS config on your PC and once this window opens up go to the services section of your PC. Click on hide all Microsoft service and disable all unwanted services such as RGB service, fan control services, Adobe and browser update services like I have done right over here. Then simply click on apply and then click on OK. After that, click on exit without restart. Next step is fixing all of your internet issues using no ping. No ping is pro choice to get rid of all of your packet loss, ping issues, latency and so much more and you can download it from the link in the description below. Once you open up the application, it should look like this and it offers you 1000 games to choose from. Simply search for Rainbow Six Siege right over here then click on select the server button. Over here, you'll find a list of all of the game servers and then you have to click the nearest server to you which gives you the least amount of ping. In my case, it will be Tobias01 
one simply click on optimize the game and it will one click optimize your game right away no ping helps you to tunnel your internet straight from your pc to the game servers without any hindrances which reduces your ping optimizes your internet and reduce packet loss and latency and as you guys can see right now i'm getting around 36 millisecond of ping while i'm playing the game it dropped to 32 right away here it's really useful and it's effective the best part about no ping is the settings gear right over here in which you can enable turbo games to boost your keyboard response time and the boost fps section in which you have to copy the exact same settings over here to gain extra fps in the games so this is a win-win situation once again i highly recommend you guys to use no ping as it will help you to fix all of your internet issues you can find the link to it down in the description below next step is creating a restore point and this is super simple search for create a restore point on your pc and once you're here locate your local disk c click on create and name it r6 just so you can remember it i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal you can always do that without any data loss once that is done simply click on the close button and then close system properties next step is the rainbow six siege fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below alternatively you can join my discord server to get a detailed downloading tutorial over here you'll find in six simple folders let's begin up with the first one that is the cpu priority in which you'll find your amd and intel cpu folders once again if you have an amd cpu you can double click and run the amd cpu priority however if you own an intel cpu you can double click and run the intel cpu priority next is the ram optimization and once again i have 32 gigabytes of ram so i need to run the 32 gb ram registry right over here but i have left a ton of presets according to your memory which you can choose and if you don't like it you can always revert it back to default third one is the most important that is the r6 priority folder in which i have left high priority normal priority and above normal priority over here i want you to leave your specs down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which one to choose from in this list fourth one is the unwanted services folder and this is completely optional you can apply all of these registries to gain extra fps it helps you to disable unwanted services and applications that you do not require on a pc and once again if you don't like it you can always revert them back to default from here next is the programs folder in which i have left unpack cpu as well as msi utility v3 simply right click and run it as administrator once this window opens up you will find your graphic card right over here click on the msi button in front of it and from undefined set this thing to high then click on apply and it will make sure that your gpu is set to a higher affinity to be utilized in the game well Next is the unpack CPU and you have to double click and run this as administrator as well. Once this application opens up, it will show you the cores of your PC. Once again, you'll find enable and park cores. If you don't know, Windows by default has a tendency to disable the cores which are not being utilized and this will limit your CPU's performance. Once again, to fix it, you can slide this core parking index all the way to 100% and then for the system plan, apply high or ultimate performance in this list. Simply click on the apply button and then close this application. It will help you to ensure that all of the cores of your CPU are running, which will not lead to fluctuations in your FPS. Once that is done, the last folder is the input latency fix in which I have left keyboard and mouse latency fix. For the keyboard latency fix, you can leave your keyboard specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from in this list. Also your mouse latency, if you are on a laptop, do not disable pointer precision, but I recommend you guys to apply fixed mouse delay to get real time input from your mouse. And if you do not use a trackpad, if you use a mouse itself, you can also disable pointer precision, which will help you to accurately aim in the game. Once that is done, simply close the FPS pack. And now let's drop into the game for the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, click on the settings gear right over here, go over to options and then go all the way down to display. Now set your resolution to your native resolution, display mode should always be full screen, refresh it should be the highest possible, vSync should be turned off, FPS limit should be turned off, FOV I have maxed it out and once that is done go to graphics and then for the texture quality go with high texture filtering go with an isotropic 2x however you can reduce it down to get extra fps as well lod quality very high shading quality medium shadow quality high or you can go with medium as well reflection quality medium vfx quality medium ambient occlusion you can pick between off and uh, ssbc plus whichever gives you better fps lens effects i've turned this thing off 
zoom in depth of field of anti aliasing go with fx aa and once that is done simply click on apply so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button it really helps me out also if you're not a channel member yet consider getting the channel membership because it encourages me to make more content like this i will see you guys in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching barry fox and peace out